The annular eclipse is tomorrow and the ring of fire goes over West Texas and Albuquerque, New Mexico. And this is where our Anthony is for us this morning. Before the eclipse happens, the Albuquerque Internation Balloon, International Balloon Fiesta is going on. And again, this is where Anthony joins us live this morning. Can you hear me, Anthony? Here you, Zach. Uh, this is the 51st annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. There are 16 have... countries that are represented here at the fiesta, and there are 550 balloons that are here. In fact, there's a couple that you can see that are behind me. In fact, today is called the Special Shapes Rodeo, so you see some of these special shapes that are behind me and I'll show you some more in just a little bit. Now I grew up here and I have a childhood friend who's on the safety committee and while he didn't take me up in a balloon, he did take someone special to me. Looking at another great day. Uh, here the day starts at 6 a.m. with a weather briefing. The wind report is vital. Balloons can't steer, so they're at the mercy of the steering currents. On this day, the winds are light and blowing to the west. The Dawn Patrol goes up first, showing pilots how the winds change with height. And now it's time to inflate. Fans fill the balloons. Before heat is added, my friend takes me where no one goes, inside the balloon. Balloons have a side opening that we enter. The key is not to step on the material, and I don't move my feet. As heat is added, the opening seals from the pressure. It's time to take off, and this flight has a special passenger, my 16-year-old daughter, who has always wanted to go up in a balloon. On the ground, we get to see a kid right next to a monster, a flying frog, and a cow flying. One of the biggest attractions is Yoda and Darth Vader together. The field crew is made up of stormtroopers and Star Wars characters. In the air, my daughter sees hundreds of balloons taking off in the sunrise. The balloon fiesta runs through Sunday. Caroline talking about the Ring of Fire annual eclipse. I want to tell you something about where I am here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We are right along the center line for the eclipse. And so between 1034 and 1039 tomorrow morning mountain time, we're going to see the ring. Now in Houston, all we get is a partial eclipse. She was talking about that. But here's what's cool about this place tomorrow. In fact, I want to show you some of the balloons that are up in the sky. The balloons that you're seeing right now that are in the sky are actually going to be on the ground and at 10 34 in the morning they're all going to light up and so it will be a little darker because the, the moon will cover most of the sun and so you're going to have that uh, lighting effect with the balloons and then you're also going to have these uh the annular eclipse going on at the same exact time so that's going to be a pretty cool uh, going on nasa's going to be here tomorrow they're giving out free eclipse to everybody who comes to the moon fiesta and I, I i don't want to deal with all of those people so i'll actually be at my parents house uh with the family and we're going to watch uh from the backyard zach Hey, Anthony, it I'm here so with cool. him now, too. You know, I'm so <laughs> excited for you because the picture you just painted with those balloons and the eclipse that's going to happen tomorrow, that sounds extraordinary. I mean, how excited are you to be in that line, in that path tomorrow to get such a clear view? Well, well Haley, you know how much uh, you know. I love science, and I talk a lot about what's going on in, in space, the moon, and uh, the Earth, the sun, all of that, the stars. And so to actually be in the center line, because it's actually rare to get an annular eclipse. And one of the reasons is the moon has to be farther away from the Earth. So it, that's rare for it to actually be in between the sun and the Earth, but to be at the point where it's farthest away from the Earth to actually get a ring and not a total solar eclipse, that's actually a little more rare than the total solar eclipse that we're going to get in April of next year. Um, so it's I'm actually really excited to see that because I know a lot of people, this happens in their lifetime, sometimes once every 30 years, once every 60 years. And so to be in the line for that, I'm pretty excited about that, Haley.
I, I bet you are. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm here in Houston. And I plan on driving to San Antonio, actually, with my family to see it. So I, I, Caroline convinced me that you want to go see it now and try to get a good view. Yeah, because in you April, never you're not know, guaranteed. You never know what the weather's going to be like in April. And it looks like you've got great weather there. Yeah, and the big issue with April is, uh, and I'm going to show this when I get back into town, is the, I'm going to show the past 10 years of what the weather was like April 8th. And you're going to see over the last 10 years, really from East Texas all the way out to, to Canada, there's a lot of clouds that are usually with us. And so it's not a good forecast. When you have a forecast like we have for the annular eclipse, where you're going to have a front today and then clear skies tomorrow, uh, you just can't beat it. And so it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool to see. So I'm glad you're making that trip to San Antonio with your family. It's going to be worth it. Anthony, you know, before you left, we were talking and I was telling you how I'm afraid of heights, so I would never go up in a hot <laughs> air balloon. However, this is stunning. This looks beautiful. absolutely beautiful. Is that your Thanksgiving Day meal above you or is that Tasmanian Devil? Yeah. Is that uh, let's see where that's the oh okay so let's go let's um that is so that's not the Tasmanian devil but it kind of looks like it so that's just a kind of a creepy creature um, so let's see let, we're, so that's not the Thanksgiving dinner they, you don't want the stork for the Thanksgiving dinner uh, you don't want the owl over there there's a no I do not see a Thanksgiving dinner here Zach I'm sorry I can't a zebra there's a zebra with its back turned to us so sorry God, Zach I do not see your Thanksgiving dinner but my daughter, who's always wanted to go in a balloon, went. She loved it. We are so happy for her. Oh. Awesome. Oh, yeah. She, she, oh, yeah. She wanted, and, and I'm telling you what, yes, yesterday was windy, but the, the weather right now, I mean, there is barely a breeze in the sky, so it's perfect ballooning weather. They've had that going back to last Saturday. They had one windy day, and that's the front. So the front that you guys get today, that's what we got yesterday, and it brought in some pretty strong winds, and so they didn't have a whole lot of activity yesterday. Today, though, it's it's clear, and the winds are light. Anthony, it looks amazing. We're going to let you go. Enjoy, Enjoy. You're on vacation right now, so thanks so much for taking time to talk to us. We'll be back right after this.